Sinister. We're still here. Six more hours. At Fantastic. Hello. Thank you. For, yeah, thank you. Um, my name is Leo. I'm going to be the Games Master from now until three o'clock. What does that mean? Who are we? What's going on? Um, this is Adventurers Wanted, a 250-hour ro tabletop role-playing game. What that means is the four people on my left and right here play individual unique characters in a fantasy setting uh, that myself and some of the rest of the crew uh, got came together to write uh, originally. Um, our, we, the Games Masters, play the fantasy setting. So everything else in the world, the allies they make, the enemies they create, uh, and the ancient evils that they uh, accidentally summon to the world <laughs> to fight them. That's where you've come in, right at the end. Um, like I said, we've got s six more, seven more hours. Um, I can't even count seven, now. Yeah. Well, Seven including, seven, including this seven including this one. So my point is, is that there's 243 hours of backstory. Um, so if there's anything that goes over your head, anything that you feel like you need explaining, please, please, please do let us know. Uh, we're lovely. We, we will talk to you directly. It's a completely relaxed performance. Uh, and we are all about inclusivity. Uh, we, don't, we, we don't want to uh, be gatekeepers for any of you. And we, we, uh, you know. um, so please do let us know. Very briefly, though, we use dice to interact with one another. Um, the most common one you'll be using is the D20 there, uh, which uh, is a 20-sided dice. One is very bad, 20 is very good uh, from the numbers that we uh, will be throwing around. All the characters are crew members on the Spirit of the Horizon, a scientific research vessel which two months ago, uh, in trying to escape the very evil that they are currently in the throes of battle with, um, teleported themselves to a brand new reality uh, accidentally. Um, they, they were hoping it was a, a, a lesser teleportation spell that would just send them somewhere on their planet. Nope, a uh, brand new planet. Um, over the two months that in-game time that they've been adventuring, they've been trying to put that spell back together again, to cast it again so that they could get back home. About a week ago, in game time, they put the spell back together again. Mission accomplished. No. No. Unfortunately, <laughs> casting it killed their acting captain. Uh, the, the very effort of it took her soul uh, to, to cast. Um, and it didn't do anything. Well, it did do something. It summoned the evil to them again. It killed someone. It, it killed two people. It killed two people. Killed two there people. was Bella and Relora died, and it summoned uh, Cthulhu. Uh, no bones about it. Uh, <laughs> technically killing millions. Um, there we go. Um, and so they thought, well, we've got to do something about this. They put together a massive army made out of all of the people that they could uh, possibly call their friends um, over the, that they've made over the last... There is an artist impression. <laughs> there is an artist impression. It's an impression. If you would like to have um, a that, there is an artist impression. They had a, ma yeah. Yeah, it is. They had a massive battle over the last two, month, uh, two hours uh, of real time. Uh, it, it hasn't gone very well. Uh, and they are currently retreating with haste uh, while mythical creatures try and get in the way of this thing to slow it down. Um, that is where we... Yes, Flo Florence uh, was having a lovely yes. morning. She, uh, she I will point out that the woman who drew that picture was uh, high on painkillers. Uh, yeah. She was run really over uh, by a taxi uh, a little while back. Um, and she's still on opiates in real life. 
Uh, so yes, it, that's why it's a rather c uh, fun cartoon. Uh, there we are. Right, so uh, let's jump back into it, but uh, first let's meet our players and their characters. So on my right here, tell us your name, your character's name, and give us a little bit about your backstory. Take your head out the spell book, man. <laughs> I'm trying to save us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jamie. I'm playing Liabilitus, the uh, Dragonborn cleric of the crew. I am one of the only sailors on board, so my workload is massive. Um, and I really hope we don't die today. We'll see. Um, my name is Chloe. I'm playing uh, Talia Zilvan, one of the elf wizards on the ship. She does sound uh, nice in there. Yeah. Um, sh we've only just, we're only just meeting Talia now because the character I played for around 240 hours died yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that was Relora. The so Chloe played Relora yeah. that tried to cast the, the spell. The one that I came up with as well this morning was also useless and basically died within a round. Um, so here's hoping for Talia. She's uh, the ship's record keeper. Sure. Say. Okay. She's very analytical, kind of direct to the point, not a massive people person. Fantastic. Uh, hi, I'm Chaz, and I am Golan Height, a human barbarian. Uh, he was the original acting captain when the ship first arrived in this land, and then a spell gone wrong sent him through a portal back to a uh, demonic, maddening hellscape. He returned through a portal a week later for them, 12 years later for him. So he's now 60 years old, he's covered from neck to waist in mysterious tattoos, and he's also missing an eye. Uh, hi, my name's Hugh, um, I am a rumor badger type, uh, a uh, female halfling rogue. Runa. Yes, Runa, R-O-O-N-A. Oh, fantastic. Badger tongue. Badger tongue, badger tongue, yes. A very, a very old family. Yeah, no, no, no. I know the badger tongues yeah, of, yeah, um, yeah. of uh, Westchester. Westchester, Westchester, badger Westchester badger tongues, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, they live next to the Dugooks, the yeah, Wester, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm there, so um, on, this, uh, on this mission as a, as a, as a sailmaker, mm -hmm. um, which was really neat. Thank um, God we haven't had one of them yet. And <laughs> 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 uh, looking around at these sails, I can see that you haven't. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, so sail making is a, is, a, is a handy way of um, getting around places um, when you need to get away. Absolutely. And currently, uh, many of the spellcasters on the ship are controlling the weather to direct the wind uh, to help them get away. Uh, very Ursula Guin. Uh, Ursula Le Guin. Um, cool. Uh, let's... Uh, I don't know what music... <laughs> Pursuit pick, music. Pick, pick your theme. Still battly, yes. Okay, still battly. So what we see is... Jolly music. Put some jolly music. <laughs> Can you put... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, so, um, this ancient god creature for the uninitiated, Cthulhu, when I say that word, I'm referring to uh, having your heads a 90-foot dragon that is stood on its hind legs. Instead of a snout, it has tentacles... Uh, where you might uh, otherwise see a beard. Um, the wings are somewhat vestigial and its eyes are void itself. It attacks with psychic uh, energies that it ripples across space-time. It's pretty horrible. Um, everybody's dying. And indeed, an um, ancient silver dragon, this majestic force of good in this world, is currently sacrificing itself to slow the creature down so that the spirit of the horizon can get away. Um, it is suddenly joined by two actual sphinxes um, that come out of the clouds, uh, casting spells from their eyes as they go, um, seeming not to do much uh, at the moment. One of them, uh, the male, jumps into Cthulhu's face and just claws across his eyes. Uh, it, well, let's roll. Nope, doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, there we go. Um, I continue to flee with my ship. Before we do anything, Runa, <laughs> yep. I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. So that's the d20. Yep. Uh, yep. And, you, and you've got you a box of saving throws. Uh, plus six. Plus six. Plus six. Yeah. Uh, four plus six. Ten. Ten. Okay. Can you now roll? This one might help him out, Jazz. Yep. Uh, d100. D100. So, so it's the percentile dice there and the d10 there. So roll both of those. Madness. Madness. 25. Comes along with sadness. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. What is that? Um, 
So you are affected by a deep, uh, mind-shaking madness um, by the very sight of this being, by the existence of this being. But this madness takes a very strange form. You are sympathetic to its needs and its wants. You kind of think it has a point. <laughs> I'll let you role play how you do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what did you get there? Uh, I rolled a, a 13 on the saving. Yeah. And I rolled a 67 on my percentile dice. Uh, you have an uncontrollable tremor or tick. Uh, you get a disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving rolls that involve strength or dexterity. She, she's a librarian <laughs> as well. Um, cool. So, that's that got out of the way of. <laughs> Everybody else has been affected by this as well, in some way or another. Um, let's go. Golan, what were you saying? We continue to flee. Yes, okay. You are making speed, and as you watch, uh, you see Cthulhu bat the silver dragon to the floor again. It's ne already broken neck, uh, snapping again in a different place this time. And indeed, the flesh itself tears slightly with the bat. Yeah, it's not pleasant. For the record, that silver dragon was the most powerful thing we fought before Cthulhu. Uh, yes, that's kind of the point. Yep. It's symbolic. Yep. Storytelling. All <laughs> 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 right, Joseph Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> the power of myth. Um, over. Oh, my spellcasters, I need more wind! Fantastic. Uh, Runa, what, what are you doing at this point? Uh, I've decided to um, creep up behind the, uh, the other steward. Sure. Yeah, uh, so I'm creeping behind him and I'm going to try and stab him with the back. Okay, I... <laughs> <laughs> now we've started! We've got a cultist on board. Um, can you roll a stealth check for me, please? Uh, what are you, by the way? You're rogue. Rogue. Yeah. Halfing rogue. Halfing rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game so much. Go on. Okay, so you're rolling the d20, the d20. and then you're adding 12 to it. Yes, Chaz. Help him kill you. <laughs> Plus 12, uh, also, would you be five. expecting it? No. So advantage, surely. It's advantage, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so roll that again, and if it's a higher number, then take that number. No, it's not. Okay, so take the original one, 25. 25. 25. Chaz, does that hit you? Golan, sorry. Does that hit you? Ah, oh, I think it might. Yeah. It does? Okay. So yeah. as Golan is stood there going, I need more spellcasters! <laughs> Suddenly there's just an overhand psycho-like stab in the back. <laughs> this is a sneak attack, <laughs> which means that you deal your damage die. Uh, if you're, you're using a dagger, you specified, yeah? Uh, or yeah. you, you've got... Yeah, so that will well, he's got a rapier. I've so already got a rapier. So. You can do that instead. I can have to. Well, I've got no, no, you. No, I was going to say I was going to give you the stats for a dagger because oh, I like the image. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you roll. A, it's just a d4 yep. plus whatever your uh, is next to seven. where rapier is. Seven. Yeah, okay. So this plus seven. One plus seven. Eight. Plus eight d6. Eight d6. So it's that one eight times. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit I never liked. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Uh, uh, the yeah, maths is a bit annoying. Um, while this uh, is happening, eight, yeah. Talia, what are you doing? Uh, 12, um, 12, I think she's been involved in helping Talia ship forward, so possibly uh, out of the spell she's got that's right, that's conjuring right. air elementals to help oh, cool. the, the pushing yeah. forward to ship. Absolutely. Just so you're aware, the air elemental is only under your control Sorry, for an hour, no, 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 no. Uh, and then it reverts back to being an elemental. Yeah. So you're uh, you summon forth this bit. How does this spell look for you? Um, it's really weird. Like, rather than stuff kind of flowing out of our hands, it almost looks like uh, mm -hmm. these tiny... Like, um, do you know the difference between analog and digital? Yeah. Where you kind of have to move it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So rather than stuff flowing out, everything tends to come at, like, little juddery lines. That's lovely. Out of her hand. Yeah. Um, and so it just does that and like spreads out and slowly something starts to coalesce. And what coalesces in the middle of it is <laughs> this being just made of pure air, which hurls itself into a sail. Being of wind itself, it's just pushing it along. Um, Liabilitas, I'll ask for what you did in a moment. <laughs> Liabilitas, where were you in relation to Golan? <laughs> I was on the... 
I was next to him actually. Yeah, because you've just been he, you've just been fished out of the water by him and dropped back into onto the ship. Okay. What were you doing? What was I doing? I Where was, were you? <laughs> I was next to the captain, um, shouting for the people controlling the water to give more effort. Fantastic. Um, so, Runo, how much damage did you did for the room? Forty-one. Forty-one points of damage. Uh, Golan, how are you doing there? Well, I was on full health. You were on full health. So, so suddenly, uh, one of your crew members sta- literally stabs you in the back. <laughs> now, here's the, here's the problem you have now, Runa, because now I know where you are, and I'm quite angry. <laughs> From Runa? I'm not fast. No, 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 no. That, that, that nice man up there. No, 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 Golan. <laughs> that nice man up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I shouted over that. That was a lovely moment. Um... Runa, your turn's not over yet. All you've done is move and attack. You also have a cunning action as a rogue, <laughs> which you can use a bonus action to hide if you would like. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So this creature, this this small one of the infinite rogues that you have on this ship, <laughs> stabs you in the back and then just dashes, just starts climbing the main mass. Roll an, athlete, uh, an acrobatics check for me. Oh, no, I'm, I'm in a stealth check. He's hiding. He's not hiding. He's running up the mast. Oh. He's using his coming action to so dash. So you're adding 12 to, to that. In rules so terms. It's, it's, it's the 20 again. Proficient yeah. in acrobatics. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, it's at least 22. I know. Well, it's more than that. 15, uh, 27. 27. And as you watch, she just flips head over... I, sorry, I presume it's yeah, a she. Yeah, she yeah. Yeah. Uh, just flips head over heels. How, how, how far up? Probably about, probably about 25 feet at this probably stage. about 25 feet. Well, first of all, Chanting's not going to take this lying down. Oh. So the man you, you stabbed, the captain, has a pet griffin. Oh. Play a consequences. Who is now roughly the size of a Citroen Saxo. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing this all game. <laughs> it's been... Um, have you got Chanty's stats? I don't have the upper I'll bring them up. Stats. Don't worry. Meanwhile, what are you going to do about it, Golan? I'm going to Eldritch Blast! <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll an attack roll. Four separate attack rolls, remember. Four separate attack rolls. Uh, spell attack mod, here we go. Right. As it, and this comes out of your eye, correct? Yeah. So my, my like messed up eye, so I've got to pull the, pull the eye patch off. And the eye is now completely green, you said? Yeah. Cool. So you all see that. Okay. Before we get that looked at. Okay, not a great start. No, what did you roll? Well, what is a nat one? So let's. So that's a fail. That. That's a five plus seven, which is. What's your armor class there, Runa? Uh, it's just above your health box. Oh, it's nineteen. Oh, nineteen. Good for you. I love it. <laughs> Good for you, Runa. <laughs> and that is a f- uh, okay. So one hit. One hit. Roll one d ten damage. One d ten damage. Here we go. Uh, that's five. Five force damage. So, Runa, as you're climbing this mast, you look back over your shoulder and the captain has lifted his eye patch and this horrible green, like... You, you've never seen anything like it. <coughs> just filled with... Uh, it looks like fluid, but it's green. And there's just this electric burst of light. You manage to dodge three of them, but one of them hits you in the chest for... Sorry, how much damage Five was it? Damage. Five what damage. And now my griffin? And now your griffin. Oh, oh also... In a tribute to one of our fire, Chas is going to do a tribute to one of our finest actors, and Golan will say, "Runa, gonna cut your heart out with a spoon." <laughs> <laughs> um, the Griffin flies by you. <laughs> the 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 Griffin uh, flies by you. Uh, it does not have flyby. Does it not? No. So, as it leaves your space, you're going to get an attack of opportunity on it. Um, it hits you, it comes in with a claw and misses. It just takes a chunk out of the mainmast that you're climbing up towards the crow's nest. Um, and it, But its beak does catch you. Do you know, this is the first player-on-player player violence we've had, which is not bad, oh, no, considering... Oh, oh. someone's arm in a toilet over an argument. I was not in the room for that. <laughs> um, that was a very you take five piercing damage from Chansey's beak. Oh, okay. Um, I open the toilet together. I'm. What? What are your? What's your dex score? 
16. 16, uh, you get to act. Technically, you should have gone before Golan. Oh, right, okay. Um, so what, I've seen this, yes. Roll a perception check. I mean, the captain's shouting, but the captain's always shouting. Uh, yeah, that's that's 22. Yes, you've seen this. So I've seen... Did, did I see Runa attack the captain? Or have I only no. seen... You did. You saw Runa attack. The, you you see that there is some blood flowing from the captain's back. Runa, did you leave your knife there, or did you take it with you? Take it with you. So there's some blood flowing from his back, and Runa is currently climbing up the mast. And Chansey is attacking. Um, the captain is firing magic out of his eye. Um, that's what you see. Do right. something barbarians don't And meanwhile, do. meanwhile, back on the island, Cthulhu is still about. Um, and uh, and the, the griffins are, sorry, the sphinxes are currently trying to hold him back. And we're trying to get away as, as quickly as possible. Indeed. Right. And your air elemental is currently throwing itself into a sail. Okay. Um, I, how far away am I from Captain? Uh, 30, I would say about 30 feet. 30 feet, okay. Um, I uh, run over to the captain. Yep. Because from my point of view, yes, he's got a bit of blood on him, but everyone on the ship has been injured. Absolutely, yeah. No. Most people are like lying on the floor holding their heads screaming. Yeah, and all, all I see is a madman. That's that's. Well, he I is a madman. Exactly. Uh, so, is there any part of the ship that looks a little bit uh, bereft of people? That looks a little bit quieter. No. Not even the crow's nest. The crow's nest is a hundred feet up you, above you. Yeah. Okay. Roll a perception it's, it's, check. It's a okay. you, well, you know there were people in. There were people in there. Uh, that's a twenty-five. There is somebody still in there. Somebody's still in there. Yep. Okay. Um, it's Candle, the Vosu type creature, um, whose hair all fell out and then started to grow back. Uh, she is currently just in the crow's nest. But I know she's quite powerful, don't I? You do know that Candle is incredibly powerful. More powerful than, say, a rogue who the ca captain is currently attacking. Candle's a very powerful uh, sorcerer. Okay, um, I run up to the captain, I grab him, I dimension door the both of us up to the crow's nest. Okay. I'm trying to prevent him from harming other people. Okay. Are you going to contest this? So what you've got yes. is you've got a wizard just jumps on you and tries to teleport you up. And, and I say telepathically, more mutiny, eh? <laughs> and then I'll, uh, you just hear that in your head. Can, it, can Dimension Door be contested? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Strength check? Or? Yep. Yeah. What, am I rolling? Strength? Yeah, it's a grapple. So... Uh, it's, it's either your athletics or your acrobatics versus your athletics. Can you confirm what I've just rolled first? Yeah, it's don't bother rolling. <laughs> well, well, I mean, do I'll, do I'll bother rolling. No, no, I got a three. No, so uh, so Golem rolled a natural twenty. Yeah. Um, and you teleport up, eighty foot. You sit. You you're there, and the last thing you see before we end your turn is that Candle, this incredibly powerful sorcerer, has just. What fur is left on her face? Because about a week ago, all her fur fell out because of stress. Um, because of wild magic stress. Um, is matted with tears. Her eyes are bloodshot red. And she just looks up at you and there is no recognition in her face. Liabilitas. I've just seen this man stab the captain in the back. You didn't see the attack. And it's, a woman. Woman. it's a woman. It's a woman. It's a halfling woman. Halfling woman. A female huffling. You didn't see the attack because it was hecka sneaky. It was hecka sneaky. I have to give you credit for that, really. <laughs> but I did see the wound. Yes. Or you can see the wound in the captain's back, and you can see the captain and Chansey attacking Runa, who is now desperately climbing up the main mast. <coughs> Insight nineteen. Yeah, it looked like Golan's mad, but. He's not that mad. He wouldn't just start attacking his crew members. Or would he? Um, I mean, Runa did. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, take yeah. from it what you will. <laughs> I'm going to assume I have mutiny of some variety. 
Okay, assumed mutiny. Uh, um, that might be a bit excessive. What side of the mast is he climbing? Is she climbing up? Um, sail side or behind sail? Side. Behind sail. What? This is going to seem a little bit excessive. Oh, yeah. Um, but I want to just catch Zona on the edge of the spell. Yeah. So I'd uh, preferably not to singe the mast. <laughs> are you fireballing? No. What are you doing? Flame strike. Flame strike. Okay, cool. At eighth level. At eighth level? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As Runa calmly pours some more water. Um, is the dexterity saving throw, is it not? It is. Runa, please make a dexterity saving throw. You are dexterous as hell, so... D20 plus uh, nine, yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Twelve. Twelve. No. No. <laughs> uh, you take the full damage as this, out of the sea itself, a burst of fire heads towards you and just scorches you as it goes past. Uh, so that would be an extra three dice. Of three. Do you need some dice? I should be fine. You should be fine. Fantastic. Um, so Runa, it's you next, so I'll be free. I'll first do, yeah, do yeah. fire damage. So that's 6, 12, 18, 28, 29. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game so much. Uh... What was it, 29? It's, it's meant to be... Com- Wait, was it... Uh, did I say 29? Yeah. 29. 39. Nobody's going to win. 39. 40. It's an infinite game, not a finite game. 51. Oh my god, how many more dice? 56. Okay. Wait a minute, I just got to double check. Yeah. Did you say 56 or 56? 56. 56. 56. How, how are you looking, Runa? Oh, pretty shabby. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, all the crew members on the captain's order have two supreme healing potions on them at all times. <laughs> um, <laughs> on his orders. Just a quick one. Um, after taking all this damage, would she be able to hold on to the mass? Uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 27. It. Yes. <laughs> um, Runa, uh, well, no, before we throw, th- throw to you, Runa, over on the island, um, one of the sphinxes has just been punched out of the air by Cthulhu, and you feel a, a, a wobble through reality um, as uh, he uses that same psychic rend ability that he did before. Um, thankfully, you guys are now out of range of it. Uh, the sphinxes aren't. And just on the wind over everything else, you hear uh, the tremendous roar of uh, the Gyno Sphinx uh, as he's hit by this damage. Runa, what would you like to do? Uh, can I clarify being out of range? Does that mean am I still suffering the... Um, you're still uh, insane. War, war sentence, yeah. yeah, you're still insane, that, I'm afraid. That, 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 you know this... this yeah, the nice man with the beard. Yeah, <laughs> if we realised this was insanity, we could actually fix this really easily. Yeah. He can cure insanity like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did, I did. Uh, but that would I can also cure insanity. I just hit them in the head with a maul. Yeah, but that cures them of many things. He yes, can it just does. specifically <laughs> cure insanity. And that's the barbarian way. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Um, I've, got, I've, 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 I've got my short bow out. Yep. Uh, You're hanging on to a, the oh, well, mask, well, I'm, to I'm be gonna, clear. You know, I'm going to... Actually, I, I think get up to a... Yep. A beam. Spar. A beam. Spar. A spa, yeah. that's spar, it. That's it. Uh, I want to get, get onto a spa, um, and then, if I've got time, uh, I'm going to get my short bow out, and I'm going to shoot her. At him? Yeah. Is that her? Oh, at her? Yeah. Oh, uh, would you... Oh, oh, you're up, oh, you're up, aren't you? I'm in the crow's nest. Yeah. Oh, not shoot her. It's not shoot her. Him, though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> would you like to be sneaky about this at all, considering you are a rogue, oh, and absolutely. that's where your strengths I'm, I'm lie? I'm going to be as, as sneaky as, as, as is uh, as humanly possible. Okay, so roll a stealth check for me. Uh, liabilities and Golem, why don't you roll s- perception checks for me? Uh, 16 Can you confirm 12. that? Uh, 28. Is that a natural 20? That's a natural oh, 20. Oh, yeah. 
you know where he, she, uh, she is. You know where she is. You do not know where she is. Uh, she climbs onto one of the spars and in just a, a, a whiff of the, the, the sail, she's gone. Um, however, it's not sneak attack damage because uh, he, he rolled a natural 20. He does know where you are. However, you can roll your attack. And also, oh uh, no, that was your bonus action. Yeah. Go on then. So I'm going to shoot them. Absolutely. Do you say anything, or are you just... I've got time for that. Fair play. It's for the nice man. It's for the nice man, she says, gesturing <laughs> towards Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll, roll your attack roll. Uh, right, so it's the d20 again, yeah, and again. then... Plus 12. Uh, 19 plus 12. Plus yeah, that will hit. <laughs> uh, roll damage. Uh, that's 1d6. Plus seven. Plus seven. Uh, oh, one plus seven, eight. Um, eight. eight. Hardly, worth it, Hardly worth it, but it's for the nice man. It's the nice man. It's great. Exactly. <laughs> it's not your turn. Um, it's it's your turn. I'm so happy this has happened. Right. right. Yeah, this is so much this fun. Is, <laughs> Thank you so much, you. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 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 how do you as go about ascertaining that? What's happened to you? She does not speak. Right, okay. Uh, dimension, uh, dimension door hut. Back down to where I know there are clerics. Okie dokie. What dimension door? <laughs> Stop it. That's the victory party. <laughs> <laughs> Ninth level comes so, through. popping back down on the deck, Golan and, uh, I doubt Golan will care, uh, Golan and Liabilitas, uh, is Talia with a rather distressed looking candle. And I, I call out for a cleric. Hi. Cleric! <laughs> she need, I don't know what's happened to her, she needs some form of healing. I'll She's wait for my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Golan. I don't know where she is, do I? No. Can I try again? Roll a perception check. Can Chauncey try again? Roll a perception. Ooh. The griffin has advantage on rolls that rely on sight. That's much better. Uh, I don't see anything. Will a 24 see you? Remind me what your sneak roll was. Was it 20, 28? No. Nope. <laughs> Chansey has actually only a 5%. She needs a critical success. Um, in fact, everybody does, I think. Probably. Yeah. Uh, so what would you like to do? Well, I can't hunt his mark unless I can see him. No. Okay. Um, hunt his mark as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got two levels of ranger. Let's oh. see if I've got... He's higher than 15th level. Um, I'm not aware. That's how. Let's see if I've got anything that might help. I, I don't think you do. I don't think I do. I don't think you do. So you're just going to r scream angrily? Yeah. Well, you know no, where actually, she was. No, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because I know they're on the Mars, I'm going to hop on Chansey. Okay. And then just do a circuit around the Mars. Okay, fantastic. Gradually going up. Oh, the things we're meant to be fighting, right? There are, but you know. We are currently fleeing. You are, yeah. So the rest of this is a very small skirmish happening on the ship that's running away. Um, Liabilitus, you've got this new complication that has come out of nowhere. I'm How motherfucking are tired of all these motherfucking madmen <laughs> on this motherfucking boat. Yes. Cheers. Um, <laughs> Greater restoration. On Greater her. restoration on candle. Uh, anything else? And then I'm going to start climbing the mast because clearly this is a mad woman and needs serious healing. If by healing you mean murder, then yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I am the doctor here. <laughs> Jim. Um, the Gyno Sphinx is felled. <laughs> Go, nice man. <laughs> Do you know, it's nice as a GM to have someone else on my side for once. Um, the dragon turtle. 
Yes. How's that doing? I mean, it's breathing steam in its legs. Occasionally. Biting. Right. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, Chaz. I mean, it was such a big deal when we saw that. <laughs> Duos ex machina. <laughs> what was that about Joseph Campbell earlier? Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, do I need to draw like the enemies acrobatics to check if I'm up this thing? Would you rather do uh, acrobatics or athletics? Athletics, please. Athletics. You could, because <laughs> while Runa will uh, jump from uh, rigging to rigging and, and flip her way up, you will just haul yourself hand over hand. Uh, made up to 20. Made up sweat, yeah, you will. You manage to do half your movement speeds quite easily. Mm. She's always going to be faster than you because she's got fast hands. Um, but there we go. She's only got so much mass to run on. She has only got so much mass to run on. So, Runa, with that in mind, what would you like to do? I'm doing an aerial Sorry? She's cutting the sail going down. Oh, you're doing an aerial friend, right? Uh, right, sorry. You're cutting the sail? <laughs> <laughs> you're the sail man! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> She's as empathetic to the nice man. Madness. Madness. <laughs> making us get further from the nice man. I should have uh, never come back from that Eldritch wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll an acrobatics check, Errol Flynn. <laughs> and that's one of your uh, uh, skill uh, things. So you reliable talent, yeah. So, so you can't get lower than a 22. So 22. 22. 22. Um, so as you start climbing up, uh, she just shh down and the great tear comes into the sail, wind flapping through it from all of the control weather that's going on. Um, What's the ship doing by now? Sorry? How's the ship doing? The ship is not doing great, uh, but it's, it's seen uh, worse days. Like, uh, it, at one point, it was snapped in two. Uh, uh, about yeah. a month ago uh, in game time uh, it's been completely rebuilt since then with slightly stronger hulls so uh, it's, it's actually quite well equipped to deal with this however there is a nice battery downstairs if I see where your thoughts are going <laughs> yeah there's a, there's a, there's a nice uh, bunch of gun, gunpowder kegs stored next to one another just, oh, just downstairs <laughs> that you would know about <laughs> <laughs> um, you, now I have to you still it. have a <laughs> you still have a cunning action, by the way. Um, um, sorry, is, is this, when you talk about gunpowder, have you got cannon ports? Or, um, you do, you do. Oh, so you, you are essentially for, for your head. You're essentially a 16th century ship okay, great, that's been fine. teleported into an fine. 11th century okay. setting. No, that's fine. Okay. Um, so I want to go over the side of the deck. Fantastic. We'll call that uh, a dash action uh, to get to the side of the deck, yeah, and then sure. you can start doing that at your next turn. Yeah, fair? fair? Yeah, fair. Okay. <laughs> Talia, <laughs> how's it going? Right. Candle has now come back to life in your arms, and she just puts her hand up and goes, Thank you. Thank you for finding me. I, I just like kind of look at her, nod, and don't say anything else because I don't know how to deal with people like this. Sure. Um, She's distraught. She's not in any way for fighting right now. <laughs> Uh, I, can you mend? Yes. Right. Um, I, again, I have no respect for people's personal space. I <laughs> grab onto her. Yep. I cast fly on my... Can I cast fly on more than one person? Or is it just At a higher level, yes. So at fourth level, you can cast it on both of you. Okay. I cast... I cast it on her. Okay. Um, just third level? Uh, I, I can't mend... So, no, this is about getting her to do something to protect the ship. Um, I, I cast fly on her, tell her to fly to the sail, mend it, and then I call out for other spellcasters who can fly and mend. Okay, she s starts taking off into the air, but you can see that she's still regaining her faculties. She's, she won't be able to do anything this turn. Right, yeah, and I just, I just cool. call for other spellcasters to do the same to repair this. Go and roll a perception check for me. Yes, yes I will. Oh, and Chansey. Chansey sees. That's a natural 19 plus 7. <laughs> You're so angry, Chaz. Um, yep, yeah, you see the Errol Flynn moment happen, and you see Tuna... Uh, sorry. Runa. 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 There's so many, so, so many words in my head right now. Sorry. 
Hunter's Mark! Sure, you cast Hunter's Mark. Runa, you just sort of feel a, a shade over your shoulder as if someone is looking for you. How much space can Chelsea cover in one flight? 80 feet. Yes. Knock the shit out of this person that stabbed me in the back. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but I'm not raging because I used my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. You did. But you do get an extra d6 damage when you hit her. Yes, yes, I do. So, so Runa's a humanoid. Yes, no, I'm aware of that. Cool, so that's a plus two to but my you're not, damage. You're n- oh, yeah, because of that. Because it's plus two. Yeah. <sighs> because of that thing you gave me. Such a complicated character build. And I can also re-roll ones and twos. I know. So anyway, you come down and you get two attacks off with your maul. As you fly down, uh, Runa... There's a big bird coming for you yeah. and a man with a hammer on the back of it. Yeah. Ah! Don't forget about your uncanny dodge. <laughs> yeah, I would not forget about your uncanny dodge. <laughs> okay, one of those is a 24, the other one is a 30. I think they'll both hit, don't you? Yes. And this is, what is it, two attack rolls? For 2d6. Attack. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to do maths here. Um, so it's plus nine to the damage, right? The plus nine to the damage. So the first one is... The first one is a five and a two, seven, plus nine is 16. You re-roll two. You can re-roll that two. I can re-roll the two. And That's a six, yeah. And 11 plus nine is 20 on the first hit. 20 hit, and the 20 mark. on the first hit. And the hunter's mark damage, wait, wait, wait. thank you. Is it, is it for each hit? Yes. Yeah. Oh, excellent. That's another six. So 26 damage on the first hit, and the second one... You can, uh, I'll allow you, because we've been doing this throughout the month, I'll allow you to choose which one you would like to uncanny dodge, because people have been doing that. Uh, that is uh, seven. Plus seven, one more. Uh, seven with the plus the nine is 16. Plus one more. Plus, plus one more. Ah, plus two. So 26 and 18. I presume you want to uncanny dodge the 26 oh, one. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, so you take uh, 31 points of bludgeoning damage as this uh, madman, this this guy who, do you know, he won't even listen to you talk about the nice man. Um, and it's, he's being completely unreasonable. And he just smacks you across the face twice with this. Uh... Yes, he is. Uh, unfortunately, now, if there were, th- that's an absolutely fair point, and in other, in other systems, I would agree with you, and we would roll for that, and we would hurt him horribly. Uh, unfortunately, Dungeons & Dragons doesn't take that into account, so it's just a solid number that you chip away What do you want at, at the moment? Uh, the question was, isn't he still bleeding out of his back? Doesn't that hurt him? Um, but no, not unfortunately not in this system. <laughs> but there are other systems that would agree with you. Knocked out. <laughs> well done. Runa is on minus 11. Oh, minus 11. oh <laughs> Runa is knocked out. Runa goes to zero hit points uh, and she's unconscious on the floor. That is your turn. Is she on the floor or, or does she fall into the sea if she was hanging over the edge? She, wa- she got to the edge. She wasn't she hanging the over the edge. Flame, right? To be fair. Um, cool. Where are we at? We're at Liabilitas, I think. I want to shout out to Captain. Stop! I'm the bloody doctor on this ship. I'm to go with her. I jump down from the mast. Roll an acrobatics check. I'm feel horrible. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, yeah, sure. You, the the floor splinters a little bit where you land, but yeah, you're down. I'm gonna walk over there. Sure. Cool. Uh, you will make it. Yeah. Yeah, it's twenty five feet from where you land. Cool. Um, so we'll just say that that's one fluid movement. Cool. I'm going to um, first off. Yeah, what Would I know if it's lesser or greater that I need for this? I mean, sure, heal the roll mutineer. An ins- I mean, roll an insight check. Yeah, no biggie. 25. Uh, you would require lesser for this. Okay, I cast lesser restoration on the body first. Okay. You are no longer compelled to think that Cthulhu is a nice man. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Runa, you... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, still unconscious. I'm so sorry! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You were going to feel her anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll just... We'll say that and that happens. <laughs> as a bonus action, chuck the healing potion down her neck. You take 40... You've got 45 hit points back, and she wakes up and does that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Captain. She was affected by... 
You know, now I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> 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 okay, we're, we'll move out of initiative order as the duke out between the um, Sphinxes, Kelahanu, the Dragon Turtle, and Cthulhu is still going on. I mean, I'm bleeding quite profusely from my back, Cleric. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, back. Cleric. I'll, I'll, I'll use my divine... Was it? Divine channel? All right, channel then. divinity. Give channel me your divinity. potion. <laughs> so, how much are you missing? Oh, if I put a number on it... Uh, I'd say 41. <laughs> well, in which case you could I just sink a potion. Yeah. Yes, but, I, but then I would have no potions, unless I, I took both you, of yours. I will give you 41 healing, and I will take the other 34 for me. With Channel Divinity, the max is at ah, their oh. half hit points. I can't do anything. So but I will heal everyone else. He's to, including the to be fair, he's been using so many spell points that's, to heal people over the last. That's true. I'll just sink another potion and hope we've got. That'll some take in you up. We'll say that takes you up to four. It takes me up to four. And magically, the wound on his back heals. Um, I mean, if we get into the mechanics, uh, they they like to explain it away by saying that hit points isn't actually how much uh, <laughs> physical constitution your body has, but it also represents mental faculties and will to fight and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm on your side for this one. Um, but there we go. Um, cool. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, what What would we like to do, crew? I'm I'm just gonna go to some of the like. So as you, your some of our crew are dead, right? Many of your crew are dead. But I told them all to have potions on them. Yes, you did. <laughs> Are you going to loot your own crew? Yeah, for four su supreme healing potions. I'm sure. going to go round and revivify the <laughs> As ones who recently dead. How many can you do? Uh, so the revivify is a, what, a fifth level? Those, those who are recently dead. Yeah, it's fifth level. Oh, so that's... I can do... Nine. Is it third level? It is third level. Oh, wow. Uh, I can do nine. Okay, what were you going to say? Is there anyone who is just looks simply unconscious so it would be possible to go around in their pockets and... A few of them, but more of them are dead yeah. than are unconscious. I, I look for the ones that are... Deliberately... Roll an investigation check. Deliberately, I'm revivifying whichever one the captain is looting. <laughs> 27. <gasps> ah! <laughs> 27. I'm yeah. taking this. Chain of command. <laughs> I'll um, smack you with them. Mason in a minute. You... <laughs> oh, you don't want to do that. Do Guys, we just got through this. <laughs> They need the it was fun, you but let's... So you find 27, 27 dead crew members as you're going around. You manage to wake up four as you're going around. Okay. So out of the 27, I'll just take those potions. Well, yeah. Um, and you wake up, uh, you revive another nine of those 27. So uh, in total, the crew have lost uh, 18 in that in that battle, which is not bad considering. However, the battle did last under a minute. <laughs> <laughs> is the, so how is the sail looking? The sail is broken, uh, but Candle is slowly moving up it, c casting mending. She's moving very slowly. Has, has this anyone is else not. Come to help? Have I, like after I called for spellcasters to? Oh, can I? They also? were they they're all preoccupied casting control weather. And it's working, to be fair. Sorry, Jamie. It's working. To be fair, the island is nearly on the horizon now, and you pretty much feel like you've got away. Looking around, only maybe three other ships have made it out. Fuck. To be clear, the navy you amassed is not here anymore. Trip, trip ship. Roll a perception check. You do not see the Bataan amongst the other three. No. That doesn't mean that she didn't get away another way, but you do not see her here. Mm -hmm. And on that note, this is where we're going to our end this hour of wow. Adventurous Wanted. So thank you very much, well guys. Well Can I just say that was one of the most fun hours I've had. Yeah, thank you very much. much. Yeah. That was great. Um, we'll hand back over to Kat to do our outro. It doesn't feel real. I know, it's crazy. Um, so we, say we are also live streaming uh, on twitch.tv forward slash adventurous wanted. So if you're keen to watch some of our fun streaming, catch up on that. And we're live streaming at this Tuesday, Wednesday, so again, <coughs> give me a follow. So you can see some stuff that I just did recently. Hope you can. Um, we're still kicking off the week. So 
players have to do this to be able to hold items like a bowl of focus or like a cube of like the the cube that has the cards on it, right? Um does anyone wanna be able to do that? Well the person that can do that is Susie, right? Um so a charity that I would quite like to plug is the National Deaf Children's Society. I've been plugging it every hour. Um, it helps out deaf children all around the UK with sign language lessons, adventure holidays, and generally making sure that the family can communicate as a whole unit. Um, it works throughout the entirety of the UK. It's great. They need as much support as possible, so if you guys can get up there, that'd be great. Thank you. Any other plugs? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> it's kind of hard to beat. <laughs> the yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Well done. I there was a split second. I was terrified you would like legit gonna blow up the ship. <laughs> yeah. Well, had 